China's automation isn't stopping at the factory gate. It's spreading into every corner of life. From assembly lines to hospital wards and city streets, automated factories are leading a quiet revolution that's now impossible to ignore. Machines are no longer limited to simple tasks. They're learning, adapting, and even thinking in real time. These systems aren't science fiction. They're here now, and they're reshaping the way people live and work in China. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to stay updated on the latest breakthroughs shaking up the world of smart automation and beyond. Shenzhen has become the brain of China's automated factories, packed with more than 74,000 robotics companies and over 140,000 experts in artificial intelligence. In a single area called Robot Valley, dozens of firms line the same road, all pushing limits in smart automation. One of the big names here is UB Tech, a tech company leading the race in humanoid robots. A few years back, their robots were doing Tai Chi and writing. Today, they're assembling car parts in high-speed automated factories run by companies like Foxconn and BYD. UB Tech's newest plan? Send out 1,000 factory-ready robots this year. This speedy growth, nicknamed Shenzhen Speed, comes from intense research and a tight supply chain. Every step, from sensors to soft robot skin, happens fast and in-house. That's how Shenzhen keeps leading the rise of robots. In China's newest automated factories, robots are not just building, they're saving lives. Some machines now help doctors with surgeries, making cuts as precise as 0.1 millimeters. Others are helping people walk again through AI-powered exoskeletons. But most of all, these machines are filling in for missing workers across factories, solving China's huge labor shortage. With two-thirds of the world's robotics patents, China is now shaping how the world sees industrial robots. These machines don't take breaks. They don't get tired. They keep working while humans rest. Over time, their AI lets them improve on the job. And as prices fall, even small hospitals and mid-sized factories are installing them. This is what smart automation looks like in action. These robots are trained to understand voices and even sense emotions. That's why they're becoming popular not only in automated factories, but also in classrooms and elder care centers. They can pass tools on the factory floor and answer questions in school. In some hospitals, they guide visitors or deliver medicine. China's engineers keep teaching these robots to think faster and move better. They're already helping reduce loneliness for seniors and supporting kids with lessons. It's part of the rise of robots, where machines aren't replacing humans but working with them. They can now recognize facial expressions to adjust their responses during conversations. Some models are even used as safety monitors, checking temperatures and spotting unusual behavior. In smart homes, these humanoid robots assist with daily routines like reminders and basic chores. Their software updates allow remote upgrades, making them smarter without needing physical changes. As their presence grows, people are beginning to see these machines less as tools and more as helpful partners in daily life. Unitree Robotics has been building machines that move like humans, and the result is stunning.
In slow motion video, their robots show off lifelike movement in extreme conditions. This level of development took seven full years. Backed by a powerful chain of suppliers and strong links with universities, China's robotics teams are speeding ahead. The progress isn't random. Every step, from four-legged bots to walking, talking humanoid robots, was part of a plan. These robots are now being tested for tasks across automated factories, setting a new bar for machine intelligence. China isn't just keeping up, it's setting the pace in smart automation. Their agility and balance allow them to handle unpredictable environments without falling. As testing expands, these robots are being prepped for rescue missions, heavy-duty labor, and precision work in complex automated factories. At the Three Gorges Dam, robots are keeping everything in check. Eight types now make up a full robotic team that handles inspections, patrols, water systems, and smart storage. This dam isn't small, it's the biggest hydropower station on Earth. These robots keep things running at a site that powers millions of homes in central and southern China. It's another example of how automated factories and smart systems are spreading beyond city walls. The robots here are built for tough jobs in wet, risky zones where humans can't work as efficiently. This is industrial robots taking maintenance to the next level. Across China, robots are now laying bricks, pouring concrete, and smoothing plaster. They've become part of the team on over 550 sites, showing how automated factories are changing how buildings go up. Each robot has its own job. Some lift, some mix, and some finish. More than 30 types are now being used in 28 regions. These machines are making work faster and neater. No more long breaks or inconsistent labor. Smart automation means every task is done the same way every time. For China, it's not just about saving time, it's about raising the quality of work with industrial robots doing jobs people once did by hand. The World Intelligence Congress in Tianjin recently pulled in crowds eager to see the future. Visitors explored robots that walk, talk and work inside automated factories. Tech leaders and researchers from around the world joined to share ideas on how smart automation is changing life. There were displays of industrial robots, self-driving systems, and voice power tools. But it wasn't just about machines. Panels discussed how all this technology might impact jobs, privacy, and everyday life. China's G1 robot has taken a punch and got back up. In a new video, Unitree's latest humanoid robot sparred with a human boxer and another robot. While it didn't win, its moves stunned viewers. It ducked, blocked, and even punched back with skill. This robot learns by sensing movement and adjusting instantly. Its creators say it's not just for boxing, it's being tested for disaster response and training tasks inside automated factories. It's lifelike balance and quick thinking point to future uses in safety and defense. It may not be a champ now, but it's clearly improving fast. In Hangzhou, robots fought in a live kickboxing contest and held their ground. 
Unitree Robotics entered four humanoid robots into a live contest where they punched, kicked, and even flipped back up after a fall. This wasn't just for show. These bots were proving how far the rise of robots has come in movement and reaction. The contest came weeks after a robot joined a human marathon. And it was broadcast live by China's top television station, showing just how seriously the country takes these machines. They may soon go from stage to automated factories, trained for real tasks that need strength and balance.